Hello everybody, Ben Pope here. Welcome back to Wolfgang Z, a new series for my channel from uh, City Skylines. And it's gonna be a mix of a time lapse and uh, towards the end we'll have real time play because I wanted to fix some things and mainly what you're looking at is I'm gonna customly fix the interchange. It was a pretty good interchange here but we want it better because um, I believe our city is going to be busy enough. We don't want uh, intersections, we want some roundabouts. I've seen in Europe, there's multiple areas and nations, not just Germany or Austria, um, that I've traveled through. And I've seen these sort of interchanges that incorporate roundabouts with them. So if you're approaching the interchange you go into a roundabout and you have the option of hopping on or going straight through uh, to the other side of the the uh, highway the freeway the motorway whatever it is and i'm sure that there's probably some of these in the united states as well uh, but there aren't there aren't that many where i uh, currently live so we're gonna go with um Pretty much it's going to be a six lane road across, uh, which I played around with having it bus or uh, bike lane capable. And I think the bus lane makes sense the most because it, um, it sort of just leaves, it kind of looks better <laughs> too, but it leaves that option to, yes, buses will go across and we want it to have, uh, we want it to have a, um, you know, the option of changing that later but it looks good from now uh, from now on until we need to use it or not use it so if it looks good now I'm happy with it and we'll change it later if we need to but I'm pretty sure buses will be something that will go across and uh, the actual roundabouts that uh, section there that looks like a concrete circle is a park and um, I forgot exactly the name now of, of it, but when I'm going to do the um, recording for the real life, uh, you know, live footage, I'll talk about that there. I've already recorded that part. And uh, now that I'm recording the voice over for the time lapse, I forget what the park is actually called. But anyway, it's really neat. It creates this uh, aesthetic for for the roundabout inside which we're going to decorate some more later with some trees. And a lot of it is me trying to make it perfectly uh, or as perfect looking as possible. The, um, that side there with well, the, the street changing into um, the on-ramps is kind of an idea I had, uh, which I've seen before. You you know, you go down the, <laughs> the road and it, says well don't go left because that's the wrong way and you must go right and you end up you know going towards the freeway so i'm trying different uh styles of trees for what might work for inside the runabout and the big conifer in the center definitely looks better than uh conifers on the side so we're gonna go with that and then we have this sort of uh, maple tree uh on a surrounding and here we have a slightly larger variant of the tree than next to the town so as you can see we can change out those roads if we need to to make actual uh, buses go through there and so on and it won't mess up the whole runabout so that's good I wanted to uh, I wanted to bring in more farms for the section and there's this huge big farm which I try to put in and although it works um, I just felt like in the end it wasn't that great looking and um, it took me a while to figure out where to put it and how to get it all in there and that's kind of the kind of the bad part is I left it all in in the time lapse because it only takes a minute to go through it all and uh, you guys can see how it would have looked and um, maybe understand why I didn't keep it. Um, so I'm doing a lot more of this sort of details and having it look realistic 
probably because I've seen uh, other people create, you know, videos on YouTube with CD Skylines and, and they have a lot more thought put into it versus the regular, uh, let's just play through it. And it, it takes a while to get everything done. But in the time lapse, you can do a lot more of the details. Uh, even if it's, you know, placing these farms or doing the interchange or terraforming, you know, like I decided to flatten the land here so it all looks good. Uh, then the farms don't like go through and they don't have this like slope in them and then it kind of distorts the, the texture of the farm and of the terrain. And with the terrain tool that's built in the game, uh, which works really well, there's even some mods that you can use to replace it, but I don't see why you would need to because it works well enough. It looks like it was always this way. I made the ground flat and then it's, um, it's fairly, uh, you know, smooth when it goes out of the, the hill there. So it's, it's fine. Um, like I said before, I'm going to try to do, to do roundabouts whenever it makes sense. And because this is a, a farm area, it might not get so busy, but I figured, you know what, let's just have a roundabout here anyway. It will be something that, uh, if it ever is needed, you know, I won't have to remove things and put it back in. And I went with a two lane road in the center. That just makes more sense to me. And then with the lane assignment tool, you can tell it to, you know, you can tell people to only go right from the right lane and so on. Okay, there I actually took a little break and came back to it. Um, we purchased the piece of land next to us. We got a loan so we can afford some things. And we're going to put in a train station for the cargo. Um, and the hardest part about this is I wanted to get the tracks to go underneath the road as the road is going to pass through here. And it, for some reason, I forgot how to use this. And it took me a little bit to uh, figure it out. So um, I had to select the strength of the brush to a smaller uh smaller scale because uh, the stronger the brush is the more big of a hole you'll make and then um, I had to try a few different approaches to see how deep I have to go for that road to actually go across and and look good I probably ended up going a little bit too deep now that I think about it but it's um, it's better than having the tracks kind of be hitting the road and, and so on. So, um, yeah. And then we can go ahead and bring in the, the ground, smooth it out. So it only is pretty much open for that section. It's more abrupt and maybe some people would like it more, uh, uh, like it to be more smooth, uh, as far as, you know, the, the hole in there, but I went with a more steep approach. I don't know why. I just, for some reason, I it feels like it made more sense, and then I can use the, the land right next to it to um, to build something there. So it's not just the track and nothing else. So then this uh, piece of the track here will go to our cargo train station, and I was gonna go, I was gonna go through this hill here and go underneath, but then I realized that hill was there for the purpose of creating this overpass for the train. So it's more of a smooth looking natural un overpass. And so then I'm like, well, I guess I'm going to go with a bridge over with a train here since um, we can go up that hill, naturally climb up and then come back down. I could have gone with uh, moving the terrain on the side too to make it smooth like on the other side. Um, but I didn't do it. I just left it like this. And now I'm like, oh, you know what, this side needs uh, a road too, so obviously we're going to put that in there. And eventually I smooth out the terrain a little bit. And I even come back to this later because I realized that that is a regular intersection, which I'll probably want as a 
better working intersection and roundabout somehow. Um, this road was climbing upwards, so we flattened the terrain to make it fit in. And then uh, now I think I'm going to work on... Am I? Yeah, I'm working on this. And we're going to put in... Um, sorry about that, my phone bings and bongs sometimes. Someone send me a message? I don't know. We're going to put in this um, sort of diamond intersection, with, which works like a roundabout. And um, it should be a lot better. Right. So that was the end of our time lapse. We're going to go back to real life here. Not that that was fake at all. But we uh, did lots of work. Uh, pretty much I wanted to get the train line to connect for uh, the purpose of freight and the cargo over by the farms. And we'll likely have other well, industry over here. I have some plans for that. Normally in the real setting of Wolfgang there is a hot spring resort around this area. I don't really have the means to do that because the, the game doesn't have much uh, for hot water springs. We could create a resort, uh, but I think it's better if we create it on this side here versus on that side of the map. And that will kind of leave this space for um, more industry-like setting over here. Uh, we'll continue with the city um, of Strobel down this way like it normally is. And of course we have uh, purchased this uh, section of land here and we had to borrow money. You saw all that already. I'm just repeating myself. And um, we'll have space out here to extend for uh, things, uh, industry and you know all sorts. We're going to do a lot of resorts and mountain retreats up in the mountains. So don't worry about that. We'll have plenty of those happening and of course there's the lake. Uh, there's still issues with, you know, our town. It's not perfect. We need lots and lots more homes. I do believe... I clicked on the wrong one. I do believe that I'll kind of fill this out with homes. And, uh, you know, like here for sure. We we'll really need people to live by the waterfront. The lakefront, I should say. And um, let's turn on that. We might do something else out here, but for now I'll put I'll put houses. There's some kind of wasted space, isn't there? So maybe we'll come out of um, this corner. Uh, let's say we don't have zoning right like right there. And we'll put something in that corner. Not right now, because I just want to kind of you know make it happen uh, to where we're not needing all the, all that people and we're not losing all that money. If that makes sense yeah so our uh, interchange is looking great it should work awesome these are assets that you can get on the steam workshop and um, just search for roundabout just that just roundabout and you'll find these parks that pretty much uh, it's called roundabout island and they come out with different colors every time you put one down that's why this one has the black and white coloring there and I think there might be a mall where I can remove the lights from the roads so, the no, so there's no light coming out of that uh, section there but it doesn't really look that bad it kind of fits I mean it's on top of it really and um, yeah this one obviously it was just one color I think we'll have a water purification and sewer section on this side here. And I can move this building over there probably the next episode. And um, is this working? I can't click on things. Sometimes I can't click on things. It's okay. It's fine. Look, there I can click on things now. Right, so no trains have come in yet, but hey, it's there if we need it. Right? It's there. So, just like that, more more houses. In fact, we might put... Well, that's fine. We, we don't really have... We don't want to have too many houses on um, the main street here. But it, there's kind of, kind of no reason not to at the moment. 
So I'm gonna go with that. Do we have water in this area? Yeah, we do. Uh, this this area could definitely use some homes, and then of course we can put in high density stuff over here. And I think I'll go ahead and put some high density houses over here. But we have to make a different district. Uh, then the strobel farms it will be. Maybe I went too far with that. I think farms will just be that area. Maybe... Maybe to about here. Because we can. Tinier setting for this. Clean this up a little bit. So we can have the high density buildings that I want. Uh... On this side here okay and in fact we're gonna extend the farms to excuse me oh what happened there we go that and then click on this and extend the farms to where the actual farms are there's a, I put more farms out there so why not there Okay, so those guys are crying for me, pe more people, and of course, I again forgot why I was doing this. Is to create a new district, and uh, they'll tie the two together, and we'll just have it this big for now because we don't know exactly the shape is going to take, and it's not the copper district or Cooper. Uh, let's just call it Strobel for now. And, um, policies, themes, we're going to enable the Baroque style, and, let's see, <laughs> we're not going to do schools out, we need people to go to university, parks and recreation will be nice. And, uh, that's it, I think. We're gonna encourage the biking. Right, so let's see those buildings. No idea what I was clicking on for a moment there, but I think I'm back to normal. I'm gonna put these in. Houses. Houses indeed. And we don't want to put commercial, or very much commercial down. We want offices here, kind of. But we don't have any means to support offices. So we'll put a couple of commercial spots on this side. Uh, did I have the district correctly? No. Okay, so commercial spots will be a no-no over there, unless we change the district. So let's let's just change the district. Really quick, sorry about this. We're gonna go out here. Uh, let me know what you guys think about doing time lapse and re regular uh, time mixed together. Um, I think it's working. I think it'll be a good option for us to um, play with how how things progress. And um, I don't know. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. We get to do a lot of the needy things that normally take a long time and then you know stuff like putting in a couple of houses and roads and districts uh, that look cool you know in real time and we connect the roads on the side we will have yeah we'll just we'll just extend this for now even though it's likely going to change and then don't be mad that there's more roads no. Silly goose. Silly gooses. We have this here. Connect up. Like so. And of course, we might as well upgrade this. I don't like how it. Um, how it sort of messed up the zoning here. I need to get something that I can one button click fix the zoning versus having to. I don't know. What am I supposed to do now? I'm supposed to go into 
here and go to no zoning and change this to something else to maybe fix the zoning that that has it like that I want zoning here as well you see that's the problem again is that oops change change to you and then go into default change back to you. I think it's gonna have to do okay so now um, now we're uh, getting more population and we're still losing money but we're also needing more industry so we're gonna slow the game down a little bit and let's look at the buildings let's look at how cool they are I don't know if we have a perfect spot to look at them from but I do want to look at them you see that it's a little different than your regular European style. I do want a corner here, guys. What happened? Is that really how it's gonna have to be? <laughs> Can I put a corner building here? Can we? Probably not. It's probably gonna stay like that. Sadly. Mama, what happened? Okay. Uh. Yeah, I'm, I'm a, little bit, a little bit obsessed with having this look perfectly. I don't think that is in the district that I need. It isn't. Let's go to there. Like so. Right. And these guys can still get... in this district and uh, we will remove these two buildings which are quite large and not the same and we gotta find a way to get in between there all of that is gonna happen look we don't have enough workers uh, not educated apparently which I don't know I mean Everybody that's capable of studying is in school. So that's that. We'll have to work on those things. We're going to come back next time and work on those. Uh, we're just going to take a screenshot of this street. And hopefully you guys will come back next time. Don't forget to hit the like button. Uh, share this out with your friends if you think they would enjoy it. There is one viewer that already mentioned it. They uh, That he lives in this area of the world in Wolfgangi by the lake and I'm probably pronouncing it wrong once in a while but I apologize and uh, it's good to have people that actually relate to this area kind of pop in and say hey uh, this is great uh, so that I felt good hearing that and um, hopefully you like how things are going and you know maybe I don't want the screenshot of that maybe I do want the actual interchange Let's go over to the interchange, this is really cool. Maybe like a grand view of this, like that. There, I'm happy with that. That'll look good. All right guys, hope to see you next time. Again, thank you so much for commenting, subscribing, and hitting the like button. And I can't wait to bring you another episode next week. Have a good day, bye-bye.